Imagine you've gone into the future 10,000 years. Describe Earth. Would much of its surface be covered with volcanoes? The question is what would happen if you went much farther into the future, say, a million years from now? What if all of the seas dried up? Or the whole planet would have been submerged? And in a thousand million years, suppose all people vanish tomorrow? Or maybe they would have found a better home elsewhere in the cosmos? There probably won't be any people on Earth to meet you if you go a billion years into the future. There are a number of serious existential dangers that humanity must overcome if it is to survive until 2099. We all know how hard it is to work together during a worldwide epidemic. So how do we have any hope of weathering the hazards of climate change, overpopulation, global nuclear war? Well, let's take a glimpse into the future and find out. In another 10,000 years, there won't be any geographical variances in human genes or features. Eventually, everyone all throughout the world will have the same eye color and hair texture. In the future, around the year 20,000, no existing language will be recognized. A just 1% of the vocabulary of a future language will be similar to that of a modern one. 50,000 years from now will herald a new glacial epoch for Earth which will initiate a new ice age. When this happens, Niagara Falls will have totally crumbled into Lake Erie. Interestingly, the length of a complete day on Earth will grow by one second as well. The LE volcano in Hawaii will eventually erupt and generate a new island in 250,000 years. Unless we take preventative measures, a large asteroid would most certainly strike Earth in 500,000 years. It will cause flames all across the world and pollute the atmosphere to dangerous levels. And if that weren't enough, another supervolcano eruption huge enough to spew a 3,200 cubic kilometers, 720 cubic miles of ash is expected to occur in another million years. Aside from that, the neighboring star Betelgeuse will have gone supernova by then, making it visible from Earth in broad daylight. By the year 2 million ad, humans will have established colonies all across our star. Also, this suggests that humans may have evolved into distinct species on distant planets if those populations have been isolated for long enough. In around 10 million years, a massive chunk of eastern Africa will split off, creating a new ocean basin. In another 50 million years, Africa and Eurasia will meet, sealing off the Mediterranean Sea and creating a new mountain range. It's possible that one of these mountains is higher than Everest. When Mars and its moon eventually collide in space, it will create rings similar to Saturn's. Hawaii would be completely submerged by the ocean in around 80 million years. Total solar eclipses will be impossible 600 million years from now because the moon will be too far away from Earth. Rising global temperatures caused by the sun's brightening may put a stop to play tectonic motion. After a billion years, the sun will be 10% brighter and the average temperature on Earth will be 47 degrees Celsius, 117 degrees Fahrenheit. The human species will have vanished, perhaps prospering on some other world. Earth will be uninhabitable due to its extreme temperature, dearth of water, and absence of oxygen. Your time will be better spent exploring the rest of the solar system 